again, it's Lock Noob, and today we're going to be picking this really nice 40 millimeter repinnable aluminium Squire Sal 40 padlocker. Oh, hold on a minute. That's not right. That's the uh, that's the Squire Sal 40. Sorry, easy mistake. Let me start again. Right. <clears throat> Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and today we're going to be picking this really nice 40mm repinnable aluminium IFAM Col 40. Uh, I've done it again. Sorry, sorry, this is the IFAM Col 40. My apologies. Let me start again. Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and today we're going to be picking this nice The Club uh, padlock, which um, is really light actually. This was part of a trade from the legal lock picker. Please go check out his channel. And um, as you can tell by the intro, there's something a bit familiar about it. I'm not sure if it's made in the same factory, but I, when I picked up this iFam Col 40, the uh, well, I just couldn't help but think it's very similar to the Squire Sal 40. Maybe a little bit heavier actually, but that's probably the extra metal in this hardened steel shackle I imagine rather than the rest very very familiar in terms of its uh, its form factor maybe some of the drain holes are in different places but when I look at this the club this was almost even more like uh, the Squire in terms of its paint finish and its weight as well again could just be a coincidence likely that you know there's a lot of manufacturers um, borrowing from each other's design should we say so it's hard to know if these are actually made in the same factory or 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 not, you know, it's, it is really hard, but they are remarkably similar. Anyway, let's have a go at picking it. And like a lot of these locks, and, and we'll gut it as well, like a lot of these locks, they have that standard American style keyway. I'll show you the key. Here it is. Very unremarkable bitting, actually. It's uh, it's quite stepped. Um, make sure I can actually get it in the lock. Ah, there we go. Perfect. It's, um yeah, just a standard double ball bearing lotto lock and there's nothing wrong with that now let's hope there's some interesting things inside this but if it's like these two it will just be standard pins let me move those over there a little bit so we've got a bit of room should we gut this lock to do so there we go so um the now non-producing mad bobs curved tension tool it's what i'm going to tension with using thumb tension i've got a Beaten geminating thousands, which is perfect for going up through that warding. And we're just going to put medium tension on and just pick those pins. So that's um, pin five there, four, but, uh, that's five again. Oh, three, two, and where's one? One and we're open. Yeah, um, I thought I overset a pin. Maybe I did, but it doesn't seem to be particularly bothered about it if I did. So yeah, we're just gonna leave it there. Let's have a go. I imagine I could probably practice and get that pick under about five seconds. Um, but you know, it's no need to show off, is there? Guts out. Get a um, pinning tray to put all that on. Right, let's lock that back up since I have the key. I can. Need a nice uh, way to get the circlip off. Um, I don't know who invented this tool, but it's just brilliant for doing this. And um, oh, and just ping the uh, circlip past my ear, but it's okay. We got it here. Okay. Uh, Bit of a shim, get the key. I haven't actually done a full gutting on camera uh, where I actually talk my way through it for, for ages. Um, it's always risky doing guttings, isn't it? So get that shim all the way down. Let's try this. There we go. Nice and smooth. I actually think this is just going to be standards all the way. So um, yeah, don't get too excited, everyone. Let's 
standard, really, really teeny pins though. Okay, the next pin long wants to come out. Can't get the pins out. They just they refuse. I have to uh, to poke the pins out. There we go. Got it. What's that pick you say? Oh, this is one of the custom picks that uh, Depenne made. Um, really nice, isn't it? If I, I would be shocked to find anything like a spool in here and uh, I'd probably eat the lock pins if I found even anything close to a serrated pin. Oh, do you know what? I may actually uh, not be eating these pins but I will take it back. This lock does appear to have spools, not that it made the blind bit of difference um, in its picking at all for that matter. I would have sworn this is all standard pins, but it does appear that we've got, well, I'll show you, standard pins at the front. So pins, so all the key pins here, try and get some focus. I don't know why it's not focusing. There we go. Key pins, all standard. Driver pins, pin one and two are standard, but look at this, three, four, and five are spooled, very shallow, they're not deep spools, but yeah, certainly, certainly I uh, didn't really feel them hit a false set, maybe it's just the lock, but actually that isn't so terrible. Um, okay, so that is the the club, possible possible clone of the Squire IFAM, um, but yeah, all in all, not too bad. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching that, and I'll see you all next time.